Hello and welcome. How are you doing, my friend? Today I like to show you that how works cars or trucks oil filter. And here I have the ori uh, this um, this Toyota Corolla's Corolla's oil filter, and this filter fits to those Corollas what are those gasoline engines and cubic inches. 1.6 to 1.8 liter engines and that oil filter is probably the most selling oil filter in the world because Toyota is the most Toyota Corolla is the most selling car in the world and it, it has been sold now about 40 or maybe 50 million cars and that's this kind of filters we have a lot and now this filter is not the original one, but this is not uh, the totally scrap product because this is AMC filter and these filters are quite okay. Not, not of course the similar quality than original parts, but, but they are not, not totally scrap and, and I am happy that in that filter it has been made quite well because now I have already made in here small cutting in here line and I have cut that metallic cover away and then when a little bit lift that part we can see that this area normally goes to this car engine's bolt and we can then look that closer and now when I have cut in this thing I can open this filter and this is cool because now I have, I have made in here this small cutting and this is like this part that normally goes in this engine and then we can also go through these parts and then inside in that part there is this most important part because there is this filter and, and in, I have heard rumors that that if we purchase some very cheap oil filters from, from countries like China or some Asian country that produce those very cheap oil filters, that there is no inside this filter material. There no exists this filter. There is only this metallic cover. And that's I recommend that if you uh, purchase some items in eBay that you open that your filter that you are sure that there is this most important part what is this oil filter element and this is the core element because this this part it is paper and oil goes through that filter and this filter takes those dusty things inside in this material and and then when oil is is free it goes out in that hole and then I like to show that how this oil filter really works and first I like to assemble that part and and if I and you like to make and do oven oil filter it is really possible you only need that kind of metallic cup and this canister and this is only steel and about half millimeter thickness steel and then we need small spring and this spring purpose is to keep this filter in this in tight in here inside it position is in, in, in here in that way and then we need to do that kind of filter element and it's, it's uh, we need metallic plate and then this paper is a little bit similar than what we have in our coffee machines when we do this normal coffee in mornings in our homes but, but of course this is a little bit thicker this is not coffee paper and then we need to install this, that filter element in here in that way easy and then then we have to get this kind of plastic rubber what purpose is that, 
that it, it makes this oil movement possible in these holes, but it stops this oil movement back. And normally when oil pump is pump, pumping, this oil goes in these holes and then this rubber opens in that way. This is cool. And then this oil flows in that area because this, this rubber stretch and oil pump opens that in this way. And then this oil goes in these. There is this thin area in that small area in here. Oil goes in these areas because this is, we can see that there is a couple of millimeters line. The oil goes in, in here to this element, and now I take it, sorry, I take it away, and oil goes in that area, and next I will show that how this oil goes. And I have here this uh, a little bit oil, and, and I have here synthetic oil in my canister, and then I little bit insert this my oil in this my cap, in that way, and in normal way, when this oil comes in here, this oil pump generates pressure, and this oil moves much faster, like 10 times faster than this my oil, and it goes in there, and then when we look in there inside, this oil comes in here. It goes through that material in inside that hole. And now I will help that that oil movement so that I do in here a little bit bigger hole. That this is not normal but but there is there is then this nice hole. That we can see that this oil is really moving and then when we look in here inside there, there are small holes in this, this uh, inside metallic plate. And when I move that, there is another metallic in there inside. And this oil goes through. Now I think that I like to take this filter a little bit away. That we can see better what is there happening. Because this is, this is so interesting. And, and there, there is those metallic this plate where is holes and now when this oil goes through that thing in this way then it soon start to drop it's, it start to drop when I insert that in here and there are those holes this oil goes in there yes and there we can see when we look there are those holes and now there is inside there is this oil and, and, and then when I show a little bit more that this oil is coming, like in this my canister, in that way, when oil pump pumps, and it, now there is oil, and then when we look in there inside, those oils go through in that central area. There is this oil. And then when this part is full of oil, it, it spread, moves out, and, and then this moving area is that part, what is in here. And, and this hole goes to inside in engines, uh, those piston and piston rings areas, and also all bearings areas inside in engine. And that's the purpose how this, how this, uh, oil filter works and then when we look this paper if we look that paper this looks quite similar than our coffee machines paper this is actually paper and I know companies who produce this paper but this is not coffee 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 machines paper but the idea is so this this takes this bad small metallic uh, this does this and like in here when we look I have here some dusty things in here that kind of things it takes these these dusties away and they are not in oil but these dusty things are in inside that area in here 
Okay, and then, then there is interesting thing. Why I need to replace this this oil filter within every 10,000 miles or or 8,000 or 8,000 kilometers? There is thing that that this paper goes stuck because if we add in here huge amount of stuff like in here, I take. I have here a little bit stuff that la like oil includes that kind of there is maybe not so big dusties but then we insert in here full of this small dusties and sand and so on in totally this this filter becomes stuck and then we are in troubles because then this oil can't go through in this filter area and then there is has been invented like this this extra the last help there is this backboard in here what keeps this oil to go through this oil filter when oil comes in here and it can't go through this filter element there is thing that it opens this valve and then oil can come in here and let's look what happens when I press that switch in here and then I use my extra light also and then when we look in here now it's quite nicely and then when I open that switch in here we can see maybe in there light if I am right okay and now I open and yes we can see there light Yes, now, now it's closed and now it's open. Yes, there is a little bit light. And that means that now this valve works. And in that way, this oil can dry to this. Tr it, it like, it like, there is this new, new road, new road, what is wrong. Because now this oil goes, uh, in different way and and this oil is like dirty because this uh, this oil filter element don't don't clean that oil if it goes to this back back port back back area back in engine and that's it's important to replace this oil filters regularly okay and then then when I like to disassemble, and if you decided that you like to uh, to clean these elements or do your own oil filter, it happens so that first the spring in there, and then this filter element in there in that way, and then we have this gasket what goes in here in that way, and then this final element in here and then I only rotate that in right place in right place in here and I check that when this is fine okay and then I need to only press that down and then when we weld this area tight then and there is no any hole then this filter is is possible to reuse but of course now when i take these filter elements away this is this is scrap scrap filter okay but here was this information what what this how this oil filter works okay and thank you for watching that video and have a nice day to you